Well, good evening, everybody. So glad that you guys came here tonight. These kids have been cranking it for the past five plus nights, and you guys endured the rain. So now it's time to enjoy an awesome presentation of what it means to go back to the beginning. We're so thankful for God's grace and his mercy and the work that was completed for us on our behalf because of Jesus Christ. And if you do not have a home church, I would love to invite you to Charleston Baptist Church. We have two services on Sunday morning, one at 9.15, the other one at 11 o'clock. And I just pray that it will be a time of worship for you. Uh, just a couple of housekeeping things before we get started. If you have a cell phone, that's great. Take pictures, do video, all that stuff. Just make sure it's silent. We don't want to have any interruptions during our time tonight. Also, if you need to use restrooms, there are restrooms right behind you. Uh, just go out the double doors, go to the right, and it'll be the first little hallway on the left-hand side. And so other than that, let's get started. I'm going to open this up in prayer. I'm going to turn it over to the kids. Lord, we just come to you tonight. We're so thankful for just this opportunity to just see your, your glory on display. Lord, thank you so much for these young kids who have worked so hard. Um, with whatever the part that they have, Lord, we pray that everything be done to your glory and honor. Lord, for the leaders that have helped out all week, thank you so much for their sacrifice to the families and parents who have brought their kids or grandchildren up here every night this week. I know it's, it's a little bit diff difficult doing that, but Lord, we just thank you so much for the dedication that has been poured into uh, tonight's presentation. Lord, again, everything that is done, we pray that it would uplift your holy name and it would encourage and build up the body of Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank <laughs> you. 
by this mosquito that I like to be. I have like 8 million mosquito bites. Really? 8 million? How do you like the hike to the Apple Canyon, Pastor Olson? As these old like tomorrow, honey, like the hike to the Apple Canyon. Although God's handiwork was excluded. <sighs> well, that's it for me. There's a thing that I can't my name. Or why don't you leave the rest of the campfire time? With pleasure. I'll do my favorite part of the evening. Storytelling. Boring! Are you going back now? Yeah. yeah! What? No! Besides, you're going to want to hear your story. Besides, we don't have any service out here. Really? Then I'll be safe. What if there are bears out here? Grizzly bears! You guys, there aren't any bears. Just listen to my brother. Thank you, Ava. <clears throat> if I could direct your attention over here, I would like you to share with you something very few people know. Why <coughs> not post about it? <laughs> no, I didn't post. It was a few years ago when Ava, Finn, and I. Hey, why is it Finn here? Finn? Finn Masterson. I haven't seen him in a long time. I heard Finn has been hanging out with Grizzly Brothers. People, people, attention, please. Epic story time commences. It was a few years ago when we had the adventure of a life. Pics or it didn't happen. <laughs>
notice the screen is flashing. What does history to full mean? Too full? Oh no. Well, I don't know. I think when Marissa pushed all those buttons, she pushed the recent history exploration buttons. Like all the recent history Ex exploration buttons. Exactly. So now you have to do. Alright, you still got it going. This is bad. This is very, very bad. Want to turn to a creation machine? Thanks. Maybe later. Nice to meet you. What's that then? It's time to change history to this bowl. What is it? It's like an elevator. We are on the top floor, and Marissa just pushed all the buttons. So we will have to stop and explore before we reach our destination. The beginning! Yep, we better keep going. We've got a lot of stops before we get to the Garden of Eden. Where's Olivia? Okay, everyone, in the machine! And here we go! Giant overhead projector thingy. Everyone keeps like fighting. 
Does anyone have hand sanitizer? And why was no one putting any of this up on Instagram? But isn't it cool to experience a new time? And they were learning about God, too. Hey, guys, you gotta go. Oh. Oh, you got bounce? Yes. See down. It looks like a machine, Mom. We still have got quite a bunch of ahead of us. Everyone, in the machine!
all the time. You know, they barely had cell email and met definitely no selfies. Hey Finn, do you have a minute to talk? I guess. I was thinking about what you said earlier. How when bad things happen, it's hard to trust that God loves us. Our feelings can lead us in many different directions. But our feelings also can lie to us. What we feel isn't solid. But truth is, truth matters. And in regard to we know that God is ruler over all. He also gave man free, free will. And in the garden of Eden, man made the wrong choice. What was feelings over truth? I couldn't help but overhear you. Hi, I'm David. Were y'all talking about the garden of Eden? Uh -huh. Well, this is all. Yeah, let's get it. We're up. Excellent. High five. That's what we've been learning about our Bible lesson this week. I've heard it all before, but this week it really hit home. The Bible says Satan is scrappy and tricky. He challenges God's authority and gets us to question God. But he proves like he is. But he proves like he's on our side. Yes, the Bible is the same with his light, bright, and shiny, but it's really an ugly, slithering snake. Snakes. That's a fun fact. Do you know 25% of snakes are venomous? It's true. Sin often needs to happen.
be like that, but there's only one God. It's definitely not us. No, duh. God's way leads to life, but the enemy's way ultimately leads to death. Well, it was nice talking to you guys. What was your name again, dude? Finn. I'll pray for you, Finn. Finn, uh -huh. what a cool name. Look me up when you get back from camp. David Masterson. Look at you, huh? Like on Google? They say David Masterson? Are you okay? You look like you've seen a ghost. I think that was my dad. Easy, McFly. You're gonna be okay. Let's go! We gotta find the Rescue Brothers! Time to go back! To the beginning! Wow, it's beautiful! My allergies already been bothering me! Stay up there! Me? Yes, if you want to head back to the show. Stay in danger! Here, let me help you!
needs to go back to the beginning and start again. Sounds like a great idea. God will always just give us a fresh start and he knows challenges we're facing at home. It's hard not to worry. Buddy, you don't have to go through this alone. I'm here for you, and your whole family in Christ is too. Right, guys? Yeah! God is our strength and fortress. We can be still and trust Him. Hi, we can trust that you will always be with us.
on your feet and talk to you all. Awesome job, guys. So proud of you. Parents, friends, thank you so much for letting your children spend the week with us. We've had a, an awesome time joining together. What's always amazing is that you only can put music in for your kids because they're like sponges. They suck everything up and they learn. Hello. Um, all these things in them. And just a week. It's just amazing. But I, I'm so thankful for each one that's been able, per, able to participate this year to be able to learn about God and His truth through song and through dance and through uh, drama. Thank you. Thank you for always making me and Thank you so much. Well, stand here for a second. If you are in, uh, just finished sixth grade or seventh grade, please come up here. So last year we were able to have music camp because everything going on with COVID. So last year, uh, many of uh, our ones that were graduating sixth grade weren't able to have their final year music camp. So we asked them to come this year, and uh, these guys are either sixth graders or seventh graders, so they all technically graduate from music camp this year. But give these guys a hand. They have been a part of music camp for many, many years, have every t-shirt, but probably doesn't fit anymore, but um, they have all the t-shirts to go with it, and they've just been a blessing, but it doesn't mean you graduate, that just means you now become helpers. <laughs> Speaking of helpers, thank you guys, I can see. Speaking of helpers, to put on a camp like this, it takes a team. There's people back here in the back, there's people over at the fellowship hall, there's people up there, there's people back there. And down here in front, there is people all over. Give them a hand. Give them a hand. Thank you. <laughs> These individuals would not want any glory for themselves. They will do it because they love children and they love the Lord. So I just appreciate their willingness and their faithfulness to, to serve through this ministry. Everybody will probably sleep real good for the next week. But, um, <laughs> Tomorrow morning, I want to invite each and every one of you. We have two services here at Charleston Baptist, one at 9.15. The other one uh, will be at 11 o'clock, and the music camp participants will be singing two songs. So if you're able to join us tomorrow morning, we would love uh, for that. If they are going to be able to be here, we're going to meet in the back room um, for the first service at 9 o'clock, and then we will sing in the first service. And then for the second service, they will sing at the beginning, and then if they need to leave, they can leave at that point. Um, so we would love for you to join us tomorrow morning at 9.15 and 11 o'clock. We are going to get ready to dismiss in here at this time. Um, when we dismiss, all the music camp participants are going to go back to the choir suite. Uh, we are going to give them their certificates and pictures from the week. And then I need uh, a parent or whoever's picking uh, the participant up to please meet us back there um, and pick up your child. Then we invite you all to come next door to our gym. We have a big cake and a bunch of goodies. We would love for you to come by and grab something to eat and fellowship with each other and get sugared up before you go on it. Okay? So. <laughs> Alright, let's pray together. Thank you again for being here. When we finish praying, uh, the participants will go to the choir room and we'll meet you there. Let's pray together. Father, we thank you for your goodness, Lord. Lord, we thank you for your love for your children. Lord, we thank you for the, Lord, the privilege we had tonight, Lord, to be able to uh, share the musical back to the beginning, Lord. I pray tonight, Lord, that these truths that we've heard through songs, through the uh, dialogue, Lord, that you would help us, Lord, to just remember how much you truly love us, Lord, the sacrifice that was made that we could spend an eternity with you. Lord, I pray that uh, even this music can't be ended, Lord, that these truths would be instilled in our hearts, Lord, and Lord, that you would continue to nurse these uh, seeds that have been planted, Lord, in your time. Lord, I thank you for all that you're doing in our lives. Lord, I pray for the food that we're getting ready to have next door. Lord, I thank you for those that have worked so hard to put our little reception together. Lord, we pray that you just bless our time together. And Lord, I just pray, pray it would be pleasing in your sight. And Lord, that you would just uh, help us, Lord, to realize truly how blessed we are tonight. We love you. Thank you for all that you do for us, Lord. We ask these things in your name. And I said, Amen. Amen. Good night. Thank you all very much.